Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss how to integrate AWS Lambda with API Gateway in .NET Core. In the previous video, we have created a Lambda function and we have written the logic to access the DynamoDB table and fetch data from the DynamoDB table. Now we will integrate that Lambda function by creating an API Gateway in AWS and let us check. Let us immediately start our video. So let me open the AWS Management Console. Uh, this is the API Gateway service where which we can create the APIs, maintain, publish, and monitor all the APIs through this service. So here it is described as mentioned here, create, maintain, and secure APIs at any scale. So now we will integrate that Lambda function with the API Gateway by creating an REST by creating HTTP API. So in the Amazon API Gateway, we can create three types of APIs as mentioned here, HTTP API, WebSocket API, REST API. Now in this video, we will create a HTTP API. So if you want to go to the API Gateway service, you can click on this services and you can search here or it will it will visible in the recently visited. So I, as I have already opened this API Gateway service, it is it will be visible like this and it is showing the option to choose the type of api let us choose this http api so the http api build low latency and cost effective rest apis with built-in features such as oidc and oauth2 and native core support so this is the description they have provided for http api so let us click on this build now we will give the api name let us provide the api name as customer so because the API that which we have created is going to return the customer details. So that is why I have given the API name as customer and click on next. So here we need to as we have not uh, provide any integration yet. So it is not uh, providing the option to add the route. So let us leave as is and click on next. next. So here we have stages. It is showing that default stage and the auto deploy option is radio button is checked already which means that whenever we change change anything and deploy it will be get auto deployed to this stage so here configure stages and you can go through this description if you want to know about this so let us click on next here api here uh, we will leave all the options as is and click on create now it is going to create a HTTP API and we will get the URL to invoke the API. So if you check, this is the URL to invoke this HTTP API. Now let us go to the routes and we will create a new route. Click on create and the method we are choosing any because if you want, you can select the method type of post or get or anything that is which suited to our API method. For now, I am selecting as any and I am giving the endpoint as customer. And the, we will receive the customer ID in the path parameter as a query string. So this is the flower brackets. In the flower brackets, I am passing as customer ID. Now let us click on create. <clears throat> now it has created this. Now we will integrate this with the Lambda function that we have created in the previous video. If you want to go through that video, you can go through that <clears throat> that video. We have created a Lambda function and written the logic to access the DynamoDB table and fetch the DynamoDB table. So we are integrating with that. So let us click on attach integration. And click on create and attach integration. Here the integration target. Let us choose the Lambda function as the target and it is going to and here we will select the function. So this is the function that we have created customer test. So let us choose that function. Now this API gateway is integrated with this Lambda function. And let us click on create. It is going to create now it has created and this has integrated with AWS Lambda and this is the payload format version 2.0. And if you go click on here, we are passing as the input as path parameter. So 
this is the payload format version so if here you go through the description the payload format version specifies the format of the data that api gateway sends to lambda so in this format uh, the gateway uh, sends the input to lambda so here if you observe we are passing as path parameters to the lambda function so we need to read from this path parameters that customer id so let us modify that lambda function before modifying the lambda function first we need to install the required nuget package so the nuget package that we require for this function is let me go to this and manage nuget packages here let me browse amazon api.api so this is the gateway events this nuget package we need to install for this so amazon.lambda.api gateway events so amazon lambda.net core support this api gateway package so let us install this package now it is going to install this package i think it is not installed let me click again install a non nullable customer name must contain null it is showing some error let me check this error get set non nullable property customer name must contain a non null value when existing customer when exiting customer constructor okay exiting constructor let us put the property as null here it is showing the bulb let us check the declare as nullable yeah so let us first declare this as nullable and let us try to install that package now if we see check whether you now it has installed right that is why it is showing as showing this uninstall button <clears throat> once the we install that package we need to import the namespace the required namespace that is using amazon dot api gateway right no no what is that package lambda dot api gateway events let us lambda dot api gateway events now here we will not receive the input in this format because if you observe here the payload structure will be like this in this format so this is the payload structure in this format we are going to return the input to the function so we need to change here v2 so here api gateway http v2 proxy request so in this way we will get the request so that is why we need to change it and let us change the input as request now in this request in the path parameters we need to read that so if you check here in the path parameters we will receive that value the customer id here the path parameters so let us read that from the path parameters so request dot path parameters dot try try get value is the method which we through which we are going to try that what is the value customer id we have given so let us give the parameter name as customer id and the customer id will return in the string format so let us change it as customer id string and we will convert it into guid so guid dot try parse of the string customer id out customer id so now this customer id will, will have the actual value in this way let us change this method and let us go to the solution explorer we will try to build the solution first
now it is built success successfully it is built so let us go to the solution explorer right click and publish to aws lambda so if you check the previous video we will we have discussed how to publish everything so now i am not mentioning anything i am just clicking on upload now this function will get uploaded to aws lambda and now we will invoke this lambda function through api gateway previously we have invoked from lambda itself there we have a tab called test on on the test we have created a event and we have tested that method by invoking the lambda function now in this video we will invoke the method through api gateway so it is publishing let us wait for a minute until it gets published now it has published and it has brought the screen so instead of invoking from here let us copy the customer id and we will test from api gateway so So let us go to the API gateway. This is the method that we have created previously and we have integrated with the Lambda function that which we have deployed just now. So let us go to this. Just a second integrations we have here integration. And this is the. This is the lambda function and this is the lambda function that we have. Now we have to invoke this lambda function. So let us click on this. This is the URL we need to invoke. So let me click on this and the name we have. Customer and the customer ID. Now we are invoking the lambda function through the API gateway. Let me click on enter. See now it has invoked and it has returned this uh, customer ID data, which is this record. Uh, if we go to this DynamoDB table, let us check another ID. So click on Explore Table Items. Now this record we have previously fetched. Now we will try to fetch this record with this customer ID. Let me copy this customer ID and go to the URL and replace the customer ID. With this ID now we should get returned the Amazon customer. So let me click on enter. See now it has returned this customer. So in this way we can integrate the Lambda function with API gateway with HTTP API type. Thank you so much friends for listening my video. Thank you so much. Let us meet on another video.